Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in and joining us. Alright, we're back on uh, these three motors that I got to get ready here pretty quick. Um, fella told me on this one that we're doing, which is a 15 horsepower two-stroke Yamaha. He said he thinks it needs new throttle cables and a kill switch. Um, so we'll be looking into that, but uh, I'm not so sure on them throttle cables. They seem to look okay to me, but there is another issue, and I'll show you that. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, got this one, and then if I can get this one finished up, right behind it, we got a little 15 horsepower, mid-80s, Evinrude low profile 15 and we're going to bring in here he says it's got water leaking out from inside the cowling and so forth so we'll have to look at that so what do you say we get on it there's the motor in question and uh so it's in reverse now and i can put it in neutral and then forward it should throttle up but if you look at the butterfly right here it's hardly doing anything and what's going on is this cable that comes from the safety interlock on the recoil start. It comes down around over across the top of the air silencer down here. And it hooks to some linkages and so forth down in there. Um, this is a really salty little motor. Um, you can see this here. And then if I do it... Um, It's, it's really salty. I mean, the paint's completely eaten off. But right down in here, and you can see how things are rusty. I don't know if I can get you in there or not. That is broke right there. This, whatever this is, this piece. Of, well, what it is, is it it's operates and locks the throttle butterfly rod from advancing through... Um, a piece of cast aluminum there. It moves back and forth and it blocks you from going any further. So I'm going to have to take that 10 millimeter bolt out right there and get that off and see if I got another one around here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show you. Get it turned on. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick here that I use often and unless you do this a lot you may not really know it that that bolt I'm trying to get out is real loose but yet it's still threaded in so if I try and turn it with a wrench a regular wrench it just goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so what you can do is get one of these gear wrenches make sure it's in the lefty loosey down get it in the, if you're in a tight place like that so there's the gear wrench on it now well now it's going to want to just flop too so what i do is take something like a screwdriver a pick and get in here and put pressure on that bolt then it can't just flop around on you and then screw it out with the gear wrench by keeping inward pressure on it um, sounds simple, but if, like I said, if you don't do a lot of these, now the bolt's out. If you don't do a lot of those, and you're like, well, that thing's just spinning back and forth, that's a little hack you can use. Okay, so I got that bolt out, and then I took 10 millimeter nut here for this cable that comes up onto the recoil right there. That's the cable. It comes from the recoil safety interlock down to there so now I took and loosened this nut right here and you can see there's two 10 millimeters and here will come the broken piece out of there hopefully there it comes and that's the piece just the cable just comes out of there 
Now I might have to get a, a poker and poke it out of there. But he'll come out, he'll come out. And where's my nut? There it is. Okay. So I'm actually going to leave that in right there. Here's the bolt I took out. Now, where's that other piece, the broke piece? Is it still in there or what? Well, now you can see I'm getting full throttle movement. Um, that's neutral. I still get full throttle movement. There's reverse. And I get full throttle movement. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, this is the piece. This was hooked to the cable of the recoil start interlock. And then this thing um, hooks to it via this linkage. And then hooks into that part that I showed you in there, or I tried to show you, that's broken. So the hole for that is no longer of a uh, is no longer there that's where it broke is at the hole where the other end of this link would stab in so that hole's gone so um i will look online see if i can find it if it's available and he wants to buy it that's fine but this engine's also going to have a man overboard kill switch on it which i'm fixing to put on he said the kill switch don't work. You think? Yeah, it probably don't. So, uh, we'll get a man overboard switch in there. So he won't have his safety interlock, which means this you could start this in gear now. Um, but that's the only thing that it, it, that and it was blocking the linkage. But now, if you look at the linkage here on the carb, you get full throttle now. So that's what was broke. So um, I don't know if that piece is still available. I went out and looked on the other one and it's already missing. I have another one of these. Actually, he has another one of these that's a parts motor, but that piece is gone. All that stuff is gone off of there. So I'll see if it's available online. If he wants to buy it, he can put it there, but uh, you'll just have to pay attention unless he wants to see if we can find that part and buy it but uh now i'm going to take this kill switch off of here um looks like the wires ripped right out the bottom of it to me um that may or may not be the case i'm not sure but that's what i'm guessing but uh so let's see what we got then i'll have to go out in my my pile and See where if I got one of these, I'm sure I got one of these out there. Um, so, 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 what is that? Well, let me get, lose a glove here. I can't get my fat feeners in there, as always. I so envy people, all you skinny guys with them long skinny feeners. Rip them wires right out of there. So, let me go find another one. I'll be back. Okay, I went out and got a couple of different kill switches. This one just happened to be off a Yamaha. Okay, so I got my multimeter set continuity right there and we can check that by hopefully you can hear the beat so here's a kill switch 
and let me wrap one wire around there okay and that didn't work <laughs> try again guess I gotta keep a finger on it okay there's one and there's the other and I got nothing no beep but now if I push it or pull the mount overboard clip but if I push it it works now I should be able to pull that and get a beep and I'm not there just a little spring needs a little work I guess but yeah there we go so I'll squirt a little rubbing alcohol on that, make sure it's good and freed up. But this one will work. Okay, I moved the kill switch from here to here. There was a rubber plug in here. I pulled out that rubber plug and I installed a man overboard switch here. They'll need to tie a new thing to it. But anyway, um, they had ripped the wires all out from under here. So this way, the wires are all inside the lower pow, uh, cow pan. There's no wires hanging out there for them to rip on. So now they can just push it or pull the, the deal that way. So let me turn on the sucker. Well, now, I was sitting here, you know. I was working out here. Old Fred called me over and told me, take a seat. So I said, yeah, I'm ready for a break. I'll do that. So I was sitting here conversating with Fred. And you know what he said to me? He goes, you know, you ain't nothing but an old wimp. I said, come again. He goes, you ain't nothing but an old wimp. I said, Fred, that's, that's, not, that's, that's not even a nice thing. That's pretty ugly. That's not even a nice thing to say. He said, it's true. Huh? Well, now what wouldn't what, what make you say such a thing, Fred? He said, you come out here and put all new kicker bracket on that boat of yours. I said, yeah, I, I did. He said, but there the boat sits. You, you don't take it for a ride to test the tick, kicker bracket out. You, you just, there it sits, right there. I said, well, Fred, it's a little bit cloudy, wimp. I said, well, it's also a little bit windy, wimp. He can be so ugly sometimes. So I say, why don't we show him who's a wimp? Leave him sitting here on this step. Let him fret about the weather. Why don't you say we take that welded aluminum skiff and that new kicker bracket out? Give it a test run. Let's go. Little bit of seagull action. kicker but it's kind of dragging in the water so I don't know
we'd get home. <laughs> be good for trolling.
going to show you something here. Not good. Kind of makes me a little angry. I'll show you. See that boat? That's a damn shame. That's a nice little skiff. It's what they call a Beck skiff. Um, and that one is particularly nice because it's only about 10 feet long. And I could chop the uh, back of that off and that I could make me a nice little short shaft engine testing boat out of that. And they just let it sink like that because of a storm. And now it's it's just going to, to hell. And it's really a nice little skiff. Well, it was. And it still could be. And I think I know who owns it. So I'm going to go give him an earful. Isn't that terrible? That's just such a shame. Such a shame. I'm gonna have to go talk to John about that one. Kind of a version of that snag skiff, same skiff, right there. It's just small. And the smallness is what I like about it. It has nice high freeboard. What the shame. Water rats! this day but hey beach sitting in an office cubicle the windmills are willing milling and a willing up on pillar mountain
taking his truck fishing with him. Harbor's looking pretty full. Well, that's the way you want to see an outboard key right there. This one's ready to go on out and get killed some more. I hope you enjoyed the little boat ride. Um, still going to have to do some thinking about the little kicker bracket. It works good as far as being there and uh, mounted there and running the boat, you know, using the kicker and the kicker bracket. But I don't like the way it sticks out so far. Um, so I've got a few ideas on how to remedy that situation, um, and I think I'm going to explore that. Um, we won't get to the next little victim, as this video is getting a little long. You'll understand. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one. I want to thank you for watching. One more hat from Kodiak. More vids are on the way on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.